Hello, hello, and welcome to Clackloak. <laughs> you nearly got the name right. Uh, man, I'm you drinking too much potion. Got, uh, listen, drinking too much potion. I, where am I right now? Uh, you, were in a, you were in an undisclosed location in Wisconsin. Uh, undisclosed location in Wisconsin. Yeah. Currently filming with the Jeremy Howard. I mean, honor and privilege. Yeah. Super excited to be with you. Yeah, man. Thanks. I hugged you a little bit too long. It was a little first. too long. I mean, long. a little, a little right. bit too long, but yeah. I mean, it's been a year. It's yeah. been a year. It's I been a long you. time. I know. I it's been a little bit. This is not the point of the video. Today we are filming a video on five reasons not to play a game you genuinely should play. I mean, yeah. they should play Robinson Crusoe, I mean, right? Honestly, you can't talk me out of this no, one. Like no, I love no, no, no. this game, but that's what we're gonna do. Right? You can't. Five talk reasons me out of this. not to play Robinson Crusoe. Let's just start with the unforgiving nature of this game. It is absolutely unforgiving. If it, you want to have a bad time playing a game, it, if you want to leave a little bit worse off and sadder than when you so began... I'm not going to try to like counter that point. Yeah. I'm just going to stick with it. Sure. Because it can be super swingy. I mean, like you could go into a deck and like try to hunt, and it can go sideways. Well, just roll bad weather for right. a turn. Roll You've bad, lost all oh, the resources the, you need, and you're... I mean... The tides change so quickly in that uh -huh. game, and if you don't see it coming, yeah. then you're done. Yeah. You're, you're toast. Like, it's only a matter of time, and that matter of time could be over an hour. <laughs> so, it's just depending on player count, it can be tough. It I mean, it's super tough. There is, there is no reason why someone should shy away from the reality that this game is brutal, it is yes. hard, it is unforgiving, mm -hmm. and oftentimes unfair to the it, player. It, it is actually pretty unfair. Because yeah. um, I think if you don't understand certain elements of the game, you definitely want to have someone who knows how to, like, Sherpa you through this. Yep. To give you a chance. Yeah. And if they don't own the rules... Well, and, I mean, forbid if you're trying to play it, run it solo with the yeah. initial scenarios. Yeah. So, point it's, number one... Uh, yeah. It's just not fun. Yeah. Point number two. I think, well, let's just stay with this here. Okay. The, the first scenario, man, uh -huh. like, castaways, not the best on... This is actually a, a, an honor bonding process that goes back. <laughs> it goes bad, okay? This. I think what I saw when I first got the game was... Give it two to three hours, then play a different scenario, and yeah. you'll enjoy it then. Yeah, I, you I want to put in the time. I just, I think you need to have a scenario that's more exciting, yeah. and it gets people interested to find out. Now, they do they get more complicated? Yes. Do they but, get more interesting? Right, but Certainly. yes, dude. This volcano island one, you got to try this no, one. No, no, here. that's not this video. Oh, that's not this video. What? We're talking about the first scenario, which oh. is categorically the wrong way to introduce a game. <laughs> we'll play this one here with Jenny. Jenny. Listen. But you also need to play Castaway in yeah. order yeah. to learn how you to do. play the game. You do. So you've got a three-hour price tag Yeah, to but people to the good parts. People, like, never finish it. No. And that's the thing. People never finish it. People yeah. love this game and then don't finish that one. And they finish the other ones. It's crazy. Yeah. But that could be the end of your 50 bucks. You could be like, I'm done. Like, I, I feel you. It's whatever it is. It's right. certainly a good reason to not, yeah. to not play it. Uh, let's follow up with just... Uh, just, just base components. I, you know, <laughs> I hate to be bougie. Okay, I okay? hear. I, I hate hear you. to be bougie because mm -hmm. I know some people out here, the terraforming Mars people, they go about two hundred dollars deep. I, you know, getting I, fancy. I get a little bougie mm -hmm. with the base game components. Do I want miniatures? Maybe. Yeah. Do I like my wooden components that are even look better than this, and they look like actual bread, and they look like yeah. like I get it. These do look all right, but it's like. Man, once you see those Meeple Reality components, oh, it's like one of the rare games where I just want all the best components. And I look at those in comparison and I go, ugh. ugh. It's not great. It's, it's enough to, it's enough it's to enough make to say you something. play. Yeah. Yeah, you play it. But this is also a sign of the time. I'm thinking in 2012, 13, that this would be like fantastic. Like that looks like upgraded components. But you've into, now got an yeah. unforgiving game that requires three yeah. hours for the entry fee of the yeah. worst part of the game yeah. with components. It's that like you don't want to put in your mouth. Yes. I mean, in the mouthfeel on these subvar bypassed. <laughs> yeah, we're not editing that out. Point number four. Yeah. <laughs> but you transitioned. Oh yeah. I've got this. <laughs> that was great, dude. Uh, so I still think the rules are rules are a little funky. Yeah. People really do juggle with the rules. Yeah. First of all, shout out to Rodney. Um, I watched his video. It is one of the rare videos where he did not say I had to figure it out for myself. I could actually watch him play. And he played with Pep, and he played a series so that I can actually learn the rules. Yep. But I do often find, still to this day, there are some edge cases that just don't. They there's, just don't. There's yeah, a lot, there's there's like, a lot of edge cases. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot and of edge cases. It you speaks do find to the them. variability. It speaks to how chaotic this game can be. But at a certain point, I, I kind of just want to understand what's happening. And you know what it is? It's always the new people who play that actually bring it up. And you're just like, 
You're like, oh, oh I never noticed that. I never noticed I never, that. Let me check the rule book. Right. Oh, it's yeah, not. Like, oh, yeah. Oh. We just always called but it this way. You know what you do? In, you, you, I take the Marvel rule. Like, go with whatever's cool or mm-hmm. the Arkham rule, whatever's sure. worse. Sure. Right? Like, I do. Well, I, that's the, that's, for me, that's the rule of death. Right. That's the kingdom death. So uh, it's like one, one of the two. Like, you either go with the Marvel rule and, and say, in this hey, game, like, it's both. Anything, cool. right. It's oh, the it is both. Be, it's, it's, like, right. it's like the wild boar did right. rip off your leg. Right. So, yeah. All right, fine. You've lost the game now, <laughs> but it was cool yeah. and worse. But you may have gotten a treasure. You know, like, whatever. Right, right. That's that's the thing. Uh, My last point here. Yeah, it's it's best solo. It is, man. It just is. It It just is. Like I can understand you wanting to play through this cooperative experience with more people. Yeah, but you shouldn't. One person at most. If you're really lonely, it's worth getting into. Yes, and I'm seriously like. Yeah. First of all, Jesse. Real big shot to the people who play solo, dude. Right? I love solo I'm games. Not, I'm a king. No, I spent I spent no. 50 but hours in saying, KDM campaigns I, I did writing lore by myself. I did Excuse me. I did too. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, like, I, I just feel like it's such a great solo game. And I think it's a really good couples game. Like, yeah. if you're playing with, a, you know, you and a partner, you know, you and your buddy, or you and your spouse. Why are being positive on it? That's not the point. Dang it. That's not the point. Yeah. So... Anybody, I think it's too. I yeah. think it's best solo. I, I, do. I really do. I do. Actually, I think I do you too. can. I think you can yeah. function cooperatively. It'll yeah. be a little bit fair here because it's not the point of the video, but yeah. we'll try. Yeah. I think you can function if you have a good duo that don't mind working yeah. really close together, yeah. like a couple you're talking about. Yeah. Learn the communication skills that right. you need, but you're still playing sort of a solo puzzle together. Yeah. You're just talking. Dude, about I forgot it to talk about the items. Like how some items just seem useless. Like sometimes it just. Yeah. When it's, they get drawn, yeah, when yeah, they get drawn out of the, the market, you don't even want yeah. You got anything else on your list there? Oh man, I could I actually could come up with more, but I'm I was just thinking about that. I'm like, gosh, those items sometimes are just like what? Like what am I Yeah. Um Actually no, dude, I think that was it. Did we get to five? Five reasons not yeah. to play Robinson Crusoe. Now, yeah. Jeremy, something you're not aware of. Something that I'm doing at the end of these five reasons not to play videos, yeah. a reason why people should stick along to the end. I'm going to give you 60 seconds. I'm going to count it down. I'm going to give you 60 seconds because you genuinely love this game. Oh, my God. I love this game. I'm going to give you 60 seconds to tell everyone why they should, in fact, despite all these reasons, still be <clears throat> playing Robinson Crusoe. Oh, man. Still. And here's, and still here's the thing. And here's the thing. I'm going to hard cut at 60 seconds. If you're still speaking, we're clean cutting it. Okay? okay. On one, two, three. Three. First of all, it is a true adventure game. It plays great solo. It plays great at two player. Um, I love the art. Vincent Dutre art is absolutely amazing. The scenarios get more and more fun after the first scenario. Uh, I do honestly. It's not. I love the the kind of the, the events that make it swingy. Like I love to go hunting more than I probably should. I like taking on disease more than I should. I do enjoy difficulty. So even if it's unfair, I like a good you know that kind of action packed adventure. I love that. Because that simulates the theme. And the theme in this game is absolutely fantastic. You are on an island. You don't know what's going on. You have discovered this stuff. And if you don't have that, guess what? They put you in a scenario where you're doing a film, a production film. Uh, if you want to go to the Cursed Islands, they have Cursed Island. They have a whole set of expansions that have a curse. If you want the scenarios where you want a campaign, they have a whole campaign one as well they get this this game is a gift that keeps on giving i i I cannot express enough how much this game is awesome i'm so glad they did the kickstarter for this because everybody's going to get a chance to just see everything it has to offer over this year since 2012 i believe i just it was one of the games that ushered in the hobby for me and i'm so glad that i still love it to this day you think we're clean in sixty seconds? I you think, think we hard cut there. We uh, no, we probably we probably ran over just a touch. Oh man! Whatever the case, just in case we are. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next time. <laughs>